Hi, I'm Bindas, the spokesperson for Waste Management. I know you're right now wondering that why I have been chosen as the spokesperson. Well, it is because I'm just like you. Whatever I may do otherwise, but when it comes to a topic like biomedical waste management, I am very particular. Because if biomedical waste is not managed with care, then it may put danger to your life and also of those around you and society at large. Secondly, it is the legal obligation of the hospital under the Biomedical Waste Rules 1998. And thirdly, it helps save our environment too and hence the society. If I were to tell you that 10 kg of my waste is hazardous and the rest 90 kg is clean, what would you say? Surely you will ask me to separate these two. I saw a rag picker pick a syringe from the municipal dump and get pricked. And he told me that he will give it to the people who would wash and repack it. In an idyllic situation, the syringes should not be dumped openly. All syringes and needles should be defaced and disinfected before reaching CTF, ensuring not to be reused. I read up and realized that we have rules to manage this waste, and our rules want us to do exactly what I felt should have been done. So, for our own safety and for the environment, let's learn about the right procedures of biomedical waste management. Let's take an example, like a labor room, where we use four bins with different colors for segregation. First, the yellow bin. If not treated and disposed properly, this waste can spread infections. These bins go for incineration. Remember not to put any plastic in it as it causes release of carcinogenic gases and thus has been banned by the law. Second, red bin. Blood-soaked cotton and bandages, microbiological and biotechnological waste goes into the red bag. Infected plastic goes into the blue bin. Ideally, infectious waste like disposable syringes, IV sets and tubes, blood and bags go into this bin. As there is a chance of reuse of these disposables, it is essential to mutilate them at source. Use a needle destroyer to burn the tip of the needle and then cut the hub of the syringe. You have just learned to save a life. Sharps include needles, lancets, blades, scalpels. Needles have to be destroyed, but the rest of the sharps can be directly put into the sharp box, which should have a disinfectant solution. Always wear gloves while handling sharps. Never recap a needle. Never do a hand-to-hand -hand transfer of sharps, and never leave an unattended and undestroyed needle. The rule for sharps is disinfect and destroy. Injuries from such infections can establish blood-to-blood -blood contact and lead to the transmission of life-threatening pathogens in human bodies. General waste like packaging material, paper goes into the white bin. Hospital waste is 80% general waste and 15 to 20% infectious. Segregate this 80% waste. It makes environmental and economic sense. Segregation, disinfection, mutilation and universal precautions are the four pillars of biomedical waste management. These simple steps will save the humanity from unwanted disease spread owing to medical waste mismanagement.